Hello my friends, how are you doing? It is time for the free content pack for February and this time it is the Laser Delight Styles Pack for Affinity Photo. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and before we get started, here's a little teaser, BAM! Okay, we are back in Affinity Photo. Let's have a look at how the Laser Delight Styles Pack works. And by the way, I want to point out there is a free online course included that explains you how to install it, how to use it even for beginners, how to have creative ideas with it. All that kind of stuff is in there, even in the free version. Okay, so the Laser Delight Pack, as I said, is made of styles. That means you have to look in the styles tab in Affinity Photo. Where is the Styles tab? Look down on your right side and here there should be a tab that says Styles. If you don't see it, go here to View and then to Studio and then down here it says Styles. Make sure there's a check mark next to it or click to make a check mark next to it and then you should see the Styles tab down here. Um, the Pro version has 110 different styles. The other versions have less styles, of course. They are in two different categories. One are the laser delight lines and the other are the laser delight full shape. So let's do a little bit of creative stuff and see what is the basic difference between these two categories. So first of all, I want to show you a pretty cool text effect that you can do. So let's create a text here. Um, let's call it party like that. Okay. I will change my font, let's say to Bebas. Bebas Noi. There we go. Pretty nice, cool font. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So here's an easy thing you can do. First of all, let's look at the difference between these two um, categories of styles. So the line one is just lines. As you can see, boom, this immediately looks like a laser light. So just with one click, you have different kind of styles. Some have a bigger aura around them, a bigger glow, and some are just thinner lines. You can see there's a ton of them in there. So for these ones that don't have a filling, there are 60 different styles, as you can see, lots of stuff in here. And then we have our full shape styles of which we have 50 different styles and when we click on them you can see that they are filled with a white filling and all of them have a bigger aura bigger glow the reason for that is because white is already pretty bright so we want to see the effect better okay um, by the way, one thing also to point out is of course as light does as you know from your room light for example if you have a bright photo a daylight photo you won't see much of the effect. So use it on dark photos, use it on night photos, on evening photos, stuff like that. Like your room light, when it's getting dark, you turn on the loom. room light, has a lot of effect, of course. Okay, so let's go back to our lights. Click on this here, for example, and, um, or maybe let's see, let's take this one. Okay, cool. So what I'm gonna do here is, I have selected this style. Now I'm pressing Control and J like choker on my keyboard this will duplicate the layer. Okay, after I've done this, I will hold shift and move this layer upwards a little bit. Just a tiny hint like that. Okay, cool. So next, we have kind of set a movement pattern. Now we press multiple times control and J like choker. So this will create more copies as you can see. They are overlaying each other. The text can't be read that good. So we are going to reduce the opacity. And there's an easy trick. If you look on your keyboard on the right side, you should have numbers. And when you type on these numbers, these are 10% uh, iterations, basically. So 2 is 20% opacity, 5 is 50% opacity. So we are going through these. So let's select the first copy basically that we created. I will click on 80 or eight. So you can see 80%. The next one is seven, then six, five, four, and three. So you can see 
that this is fading out towards the back. And to make the first one better readable, we are gonna switch over to our full shapes and then just select a full shape. You can do any effect you want, any kind of light. It doesn't have to be the same light as the background. So for example, we can take pink. So we have a nice contrast. You can do whatever you want. Let's take this one. Let's see. Has a lot of potential to play around here. You can really waste hours with this pack because it's just fun to use. It's just interesting to use. And by the way, if you think, hey, there is too much of these copies behind, just turn them off. Like let's turn off every second of them. So we have fewer of them and the effect maybe is a little bit cleaner to read. Okay, cool. Uh, so this is the first kind of way you can use it. Another way, and this is pretty cool, is it doesn't just work on text and shapes. By the way, let's look at shapes real quick here. Uh, before we go on, let's make an ellipse and then go here to laser delight lines. And let's see, um, let's take orange like this. And again, we can do the same effect. We can make a little tunnel effect. You can see here, I will change the origin point. I will show this in more detail in the free online course. Don't worry about that. So you can see, whoo, we have a cool tunnel effect. Wow, so cool. I really like this. I, I use this a lot myself. This is why I create this for you. So you can use the exact same tools, the exact same effect that I use to enhance the workflow. And they are very highly adaptable to your own style. So. It doesn't look like my things. You can do whatever you want with that. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is just make a normal pixel layer. Down here, add pixel layer. Click on that. And now we're going to use a paintbrush. You can see here paintbrush. I will set it to a small size, like six pixels here. And I will set it to white. And I have the stabilizer turned on. This means that it is like a rubber band line that will uh, so when I turn the stabilizer off, you can see the lines are like this and they can be uh, pretty squiggly, basically. So if I turn the stabilizer on, you can see there's a little rubber band in front and this will make my lines a lot smoother. Okay, so what we're going to do with this is let's just make some lines here coming out of her glasses like that. And you've seen this effect in my teaser, of course, I'm just showing you a little version. You can be really playful with that. You can paint outlines whoops, around people, all that kind of cool stuff. There's so much potential in this uh, to just play around with that. And of course, you can add any kind of light effect you want, no matter if it was there originally or not. So that's the cool thing about arts. Use your creativity, create what's in your mind, in your imagination. Okay, so we have set up the pixel layer. We can just click on a style and you can see that this is turning into a laser light. By the way, you have just seen that some of the effects don't work with this. And the reason for that is that they use a glow effect that is designed for shapes. But like I said, all of those are highly adaptable. So if this happens, what you can do is click over here on layer effects down here in the corner and you can see with the check mark all the effects that are in use. So you can turn them on and off to see which is the offending parameter. Here, for example, it's outline and you can adapt that if possible. In this case, doesn't really make too much sense, doesn't work with that. But no worries, because there's a lot of different styles to choose from. So you can see these work very well. We have a lot of different options here. So just so to let you know, not all of the styles work with everything because they are designed for different purposes. So this was my little presentation and tutorial on how to use this pack. The Laser Delight Styles Pack for Affinity Photo comes with a free online course, even in the free version of the pack. So take advantage of that. And of course, I would be super grateful to you if you choose one of the premium versions. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next tutorial. Bye.